put a James Comer who sat down with Ted Cruz on Ted Cruz's podcast and talked about this because Comer's a former head of a bank. And he's like, wait a second, like, this is a big deal. This is a big deal to get more than 70 suspicious activity reports or SARS as they are known in a year. Two over the course of, of 10 years. And, and how many were, were issued concerning Hunter Biden and Joe Biden and the Biden family? Over 170. They were, they were direct. Wait, you were on a bank and they issued two in, in 10 how many years? years? If, you issue, if you had two SARS, they're called SARS in, in the banking industry. If you had two SARS against you, it would be hard for you to open an account somewhere. There wouldn't be any bank that would want to uh, have you as a customer because it's not worth the paperwork. Remember, when the bank files one of these, you can understand this, appreciate this, Senator. That's inviting the regulators to come in and regulate. Okay, that's the last thing the bank. So, want. 170 get filed. That means that somebody's getting a deposit in their account. It's a big amount. It's from somewhere suspicious. I mean, what triggers it? Why? Uh, You're a banker. Uh, what is it that makes you say we got to file, file a SAR? A large transaction that comes out of the blue. So and what's had, large? So what, what is there a well, threshold? From a you had, you had a mil, I'll use the Robinson Walker account because we subpoenaed, that was the first bank okay. account we subpoenaed. Now, yeah. who's Robinson so Walker? He, he, he explains some more, but basically you had all these different LLCs and people are like, wait a second, why was he getting all this money from all these different places all over the world, all while not being registered as a foreign agent? Let me remind you. This same guy, Hunter, I'm calling him a guy now, not a kid, because they want you to think like he's a kid. He's older than me, okay? So this guy, Hunter Biden, with his various problems of which we don't even want to discuss on this show, okay? I mean, this is one bad dude with a lot of bad, bad stuff going on in his life. I mean, I'm thankful that I haven't set eyes on that laptop. Anyway, he got his plea deal. Remember that? It all fell apart eventually because, thank goodness, at least there's like some honest people out there. Well, his plea deal fell apart, but back when he thought it was going down and everything was perfect, he showed up at the India State Dinner at the White House. Let's look at this. Hunter He's Biden in his tuxedo. He's, He's trying to do more business, for goodness sakes. That's what this is. This is Hunter Biden saying, how much more business can I get? I mean, it was just so unbelievably, wildly inappropriate, wildly inappropriate. You know, I get it. He's he's his son. And Pops loves his son, wants to look out for his son. But at some point, like you do make a decision that my son is such a disaster and such a screw up that maybe I shouldn't be running for the president of the United States. Maybe it actually puts our national security at risk if, in fact, my son is getting paid by the Ukrainians who then want me to do X, Y, and Z to help out my son's employer. That's a problem. And he doesn't seem to want to recognize it. What did he say last summer? He sat down with, again, state news to tell us his son was just perfect, did nothing wrong. Are you kidding me? Watch. Sir, there is something personal that's affecting you. Your son, while there's no ties to you, could be charged by your Department of Justice. How will that impact your presidency? Hang on, hang on. Drew, can First we stop it one second? Do you notice how that reporter said, who has no ties to you? In other words, she's trying very hard, like all the media is doing, to say, okay, well, this is separate, right? It's your son. It doesn't mean that it implicates you, except it does when you're the guy who then goes and fires the investigator that's investigating your son's boss, okay? Like, there you go. Okay, let's go back. He's, my son did nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Sir, there is something personal that's affecting you. Your son, while there's no ties to you, could be charged by your Department of Justice. How will that impact your presidency? First of all, my son's done nothing wrong. I trust him. I have faith in him. And it impacts my presidency by making me feel proud of him. Oh, oh we're so glad you're proud of your son who <laughs> illegally obtained a weapon. I, I think he actually pled guilty to that and then it got reversed, right? Because the plea deal fell apart. Your son, who was doing work for all these countries and companies overseas, trying to influence policy, but never bothered to register as a foreign agent. Your son, who oof, had some really, really sketchy stuff on his laptop. Your son, yeah, you're real proud of him. Whatever. 
Reminds me again of his dogs, like the 24 bites. Oh, I just love my dog, but I never bothered to actually raise my dog or train my dog, etc., etc., etc.